All right, so guys, I got a quick, interesting discussion for this evening. And, uh, you know, this is only my opinion, so take it or leave it. Don't matter to me. But, you know, I've got our Cletus event in Indy this weekend, May 3rd and 4th. We've got the Crown Vic race Friday night. We've got Burnout Rivals Saturday. And we're all geared up, ready to go. But we've, we've made a last-minute change of plans. The thing is, is that racetracks and racing events are what they used to be I, it's, you know they're not i can't say they're not what they used to be they are what they used to be like i think that you can go to the track and see essentially the same thing you could have seen 15 years ago which is cool but i think that racing itself is no longer enough to get people out of their houses so, you know, I, I saw the Freedom 500 for myself, which was a couple weeks ago on my birthday at the Freedom Factory. And it was mind blowing, right? It was amazing. We had a concert, we had fireworks, we had monster trucks, we had a Van Prix, we had racing, we had burnouts, and it was incredible. And it was sold out because of, of the show just being that awesome. And we implemented all this new stuff, and I think that's why it sold out. Well, Indy, you know, for example, we've done the same thing for the last three years. And it has been big, but I was just talking with Josh, and I'm like, how do we, how are we going to get people to come back year after year after year if we're just doing the same thing? So we just decided, all right, we're adding fireworks. We got our fireworks team on board. We call Jim York. We're adding the Van Prix. The Van Prix is now coming to Indy. Oh! Oh! For this weekend. So it, it's locked in for Friday. And then we're like, let's make the burnout pad bigger. So we talked to Indy. They made the burnout pad bigger. All this stuff was not that hard to add. And I feel like, boom, now we have a reason for people to look forward to this event versus whatever just expecting to see the same thing and i think that's probably a more significant issue than just my events like i was thinking about it, like, man all these drag races i've been to they, they've been the same for the last three, three or four years maybe five years and i i mean i feel like it's gotta just be real close for uh for people to decide whether they just stay home for the the day or go to the track and spend twenty dollars to watch it in person because everything is so easy to watch at home right now. You can see the the highlight reels, you can see you know replays, perfect footage from Freedom Plus, you know whatever, which is great. But for guys like me, I want people in the stands there at the event, and for racetracks all around the country, they're probably wondering like why is it so hard to get people in seats these days? Well, it's because they can get the finest entertainment they could possibly want right at their phone. And uh, the truth of it is, racing's just not enough anymore. We're doing the same, a lot, a lot of us, a lot of guys are doing the same thing they were doing 15 years ago with these tracks, which for some of them, it might work just fine. But here at the Cleese McFarland brand, I'm telling you, that it we're we're done with that. We're not doing the same thing anymore. Like we're we're all, it's only up from here. We're adding things to every single show now. Once I saw the Freedom 500, we can't go back. And yes, we were late to adding stuff to Indy for this weekend. It's literally this Friday and Saturday, but we did it. So now, when I tell you to hit the link in the description and grab tickets to Lucas Oil Raceway for this weekend, I want you to know when you come, you are going to see much more than last year. And it's going to be better than last year. And I'm confident when I say that. And next year, expect a concert. And the year after that, I don't know, expect something better. I don't know why, but the last three years, I've been doing the same events, you know, all over the country. And, uh, you know, when you go to a place like Bristol and it's exciting, yeah, you can get a ton of people to show up the first year. But, you know, the second year, the crowd was definitely lighter. And that's why we're taking a year off from Bristol. But it's like, I'm realizing it, it really wasn't 
just that. It's the fact that I was doing the same thing. So I'm not doing that anymore. And I wanted you guys to know that. So I was just thinking about that today. And I hope other racetrack promoters can get ahead of this before they're like, damn, we don't have enough people in the seats to pay bills. Because I don't want to see racetracks go down just because they didn't do enough to get their spectators there and make it worth their dollar. You know, it's just got to be worth these people's dollar to, to, if you bring a family, I mean, it's 80 bucks right there at the gate, plus food, plus, you know, whatever it may be. So I think it's just time to invest. And uh, we have certainly pulled the trigger on that. So we are full speed ahead, dropping cash to make these events better. And I, I hope other track owners can be brave enough too to invest because it's gonna take time to make the events insane and then word get out that it's like, hey, you can't miss this. You know, you can't miss it is what I want you guys leaving Cleese and Cars Indy telling your friends for next year. I mean it, because I mean, you can come see, let me pull up the driver's list. You can come see LS George, Cleese McFarland, Ty, Zach, and Jackson from the shop, Kyle from Boosted Boys, Gray, Led better from the Van Prix of the Freedom 500. Brent from PFI Speed. Hope he doesn't fight KSR Kevin. Maybe they will. Kevin from KSR is racing as well. Demolition Ranch Matt. Brad DeBerti. Roman Atwood. My helicopter boy. JH Diesel. Justin from Heatway Visual. Jim York. Jeremiah Burton from Donut. Jimmy's World. He freaking rebuilds airplanes. What's he doing on this list? Derek from Vice Group Garage. It's going to be a heater of a driver's list. And also, if you have an idea for a prize, I don't have a prize yet. But I'm just saying, that's what you're getting and more now. We're done with just the racing. It ain't enough. And I'm here telling you that right now. So when you come to my event, you see more than racing. You see a show. I'm just saying, look at Taylor Swift. I'm not trying to compare myself to Taylor Swift. She's been at it for 20 years. And now her shows generate billions of dollars. You think she's been doing the same thing for those 20 years? Or how about a good example? The Savannah Bananas. I don't know if you've seen that baseball team. Those guys have reinvented baseball. And I don't know a ton about it, but I've seen so many clips. These guys are dancing on the mound, doing funny stuff during the event. And they've probably got more people in their seats than half the MLB teams out there. So I just, I'm trying to be on that level in racing. And I think all of us promoters should be thinking in this mindset, how do we make it not just a racing event, but a show? Because I think that's the path we all need to be on to prevent empty stands in the near future at racing events across the country. I'm not saying it's gonna happen immediately. I'm just saying, Let's get ahead of it. Let's be on it, brother. All right, guys, that's your thoughts with the cleater for tonight. Get some tickets for Indy this weekend. That's all I got to say. See ya.